All right. So the reason why I'm going live right now and I'm using this awkward filter is because I had a pretty good question this morning in discussion with a friend of mine and we were talking about the difference between cookies and organic cookies and of course natural fat loss which is what seems to be what most people are always asking me about okay so let's get something straight when it comes to fat loss all right the, the number one thing that holds true is still calories okay if you take 2,000 calories to maintain your body weight if you eat 1800 calories you're gonna lose weight okay now if you choose to eat the majority of those 1800 calories from sweets such as cookies since that's what we're about to talk about then you will lose some weight but you will also run into some other issues because you will just cause havoc upon your body and calorie deficit will no longer reign supreme at that point as you start to run into thyroid and insulin uh, issues, okay? It's cool right now to be on Instagram with all these awesome fitness gurus that know so much about fat loss and they have a lot of good information but the number one thing they always keep pushing is calorie deficit, calorie deficit, calorie deficit. Well, we, we get that point but this also comes from, and I'm not trying to be ugly, from people who are on juice, on T3, on T4, you know? They got a lot of extra help in the chemical department. This comes from fitness gurus who were never been fat all their life, never really had to struggle. So all they know is, what's well, just calorie deficit, it's just calorie deficit, it's just calorie deficit. And even though, once again, that is the number one reign supreme reason to lose weight, you, you still can't be inducing yourself in with sugars and unhealthy foods, okay? There, there are problems with serious, there are people out there with serious problems. You know, I hear it all the time, well, like, well, then if they're not losing weight, then it's just because they're just not in calorie deficit. Well, I know people and I've worked with people for many years who were in a calorie deficit and only lost a certain amount of weight and then stopped because they have real health problems. All right. But these Instagram fitness gurus don't know shit about stuff like that. Okay. So that's the difference between, I guess, me and some of these other people where I've been in this business for 20 something years. And I've, I've fucked my own body up using the, the supplement industry, which is complete fucking garbage, okay? So let's get to the organic cook, cookie question, okay? So organic cookies, are they good for you? What, what the fuck do you think? They're cookies, okay? So is an organic cookie better than Chips Ahoy cookie? Sure, all right? Let's take a look at a couple of different reasons why. One. Let's say you make an organic cookie from sprouted whole wheat flour, all right? Well, sprouted grains are assimilated more effectively inside the body. You don't sprout grains, it strips the body of phytic acid, it's not good for you, okay? Two, let's say we go to gluten-free, all right? Is gluten-free better? Well, in my opinion, yes it is, because gluten isn't an inflammatory response inside the body. It has nothing to do with the fact that you have Crohn's, Crohn's fucking uh, disease. Inflammation is inflammation. So if you're eating wheat and gluten on a consistent basis, you could have an inflammatory problem. All right. So, well, let's take a look at the sugars. All right. Well, I don't use sugar. I use cane sugar. Okay. Well, congratulations. Your cane sugar has a little bit more nutrients, but at the same time, it's still fucking sugar. So... It's still not the greatest thing to be putting inside your body, all right? You could also use non-aluminum baking soda. This would be really good because Jesus Christ, you got enough heavy metals in our food already. You don't need to be putting any more just to eat a sweet treat, okay? So there's a couple of different things that we could go over and, and the list can keep going, but just because your cookie is organic doesn't mean it's necessarily good for you and it definitely fucking doesn't mean that you're gonna lose weight.